Did you know that there are cosmic vacuums so powerful they can swallow entire stars, even galaxies? Imagine, if you will, a force so potent, so immense, that even the speediest particles of light racing away at nearly 300,000 kilometers per second can't escape its gravitational clutches. These are not the musings of science fiction, but rather the mysterious and mind-boggling reality of our cosmos. These cosmic phenomena are so dense and so powerful that they bend the very fabric of space and time around them. They distort the cosmos as we know it, creating ripples and wrinkles that scientists are still trying to fully understand. They're the invisible beasts lurking in the shadows of the universe, their presence only discernible by the havoc they wreak on their surroundings. These cosmic vacuums are known as black holes, the ultimate mystery of the universe. Imagine a star burning brighter and hotter than anything we could comprehend. Now picture it collapsing under its weight. This is no ordinary star, mind you. We're talking about a supermassive star, a celestial titan with a mass several times that of our sun. As this remarkable star ages, it exhausts its nuclear fuel. The pressure from the nuclear reactions, which has been keeping the star's gravity at bay, decreases. The outer layers of the star start to expand, creating what we call a red supergiant. But this is just the beginning of a spectacular event. The core continues to shrink and heat up, reaching temperatures so high that the star's iron atoms are ripped apart into protons and neutrons. This process absorbs energy rather than releasing it, causing the core to collapse even faster. In less than a second, the core shrinks from roughly the size of the Earth to a sphere only a few kilometers across. The density increases astronomically, and the core becomes what is known as a neutron star. But what if the star is even more massive? The gravity becomes so strong that not even the pressure of the neutrons can withstand it. The core continues to collapse, shrinking beyond our ability to comprehend. It becomes a point of infinite density, a singularity. The gravity around this singularity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. This is the birth of a black hole. But wait, there's more. As the core collapses, the outer layers of the star fall inward, then rebound in a colossal explosion known as a supernova. This explosion is one of the most energetic events in the universe, outshining entire galaxies for a brief period. The energy released is so massive that it creates the elements heavier than iron, which are then scattered across the universe, becoming part of new stars, planets and even life. And in the aftermath of this cosmic explosion, a black hole is born. A new player on the cosmic stage, hiding in plain sight, ready to shape the universe in ways we are just beginning to understand. Black holes, despite their name, are not empty spaces. They are, in fact, cosmic bodies of immense gravity so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull once crossed a certain boundary. This boundary is known as the event horizon, the point of no return. Imagine the event horizon as the edge of a waterfall. Once you go over the edge, there's no paddling back up. The water, in this case, is the fabric of space-time, being drawn inexorably into the black hole. Now let's dive into the black hole past the event horizon. Here we encounter a region where the force of gravity becomes so incredibly intense that it crushes everything into an almost infinitely small point. This is the singularity. It's the very heart of a black hole, where the rules of physics as we know them cease to apply. It's like the eye of a cosmic storm, a place of extreme density and gravitational pull. Circling around the black hole is the accretion disk. This is a flat rotating disk of dust, gas, stars and other cosmic matter that the black hole has managed to pull in but has not yet crossed the event horizon. The material in the accretion disk spirals inward heated to incredibly high temperatures by the immense gravitational forces at work. This heating causes the accretion disk to glow brightly, often emitting X-rays and other forms of radiation. The interaction between the event horizon, the singularity and the accretion disk creates a dynamic, highly energetic environment. The black hole's gravity pulls material in, the accretion disk feeds the black hole 
and the singularity sits quietly at the center, a mystery yet to be fully understood. This invisible cosmic beast is a complex and fascinating entity, not merely a void in space. It's a testament to the incredible variety and mystery that our universe holds, a cosmic puzzle that continues to challenge our understanding of the very nature of reality itself. So, what happens after a black hole is born? Well, the life of a black hole is as mysterious as its birth. Once formed, a black hole begins its journey through the cosmos, silently lurking in the dark corners of the universe. This cosmic predator doesn't just sit idle. Oh no, it's always on the prowl, constantly on the hunt for matter and energy to devour. Imagine a voracious eater at an all-you-can-eat buffet, never getting full, always wanting more. That's a black hole for you. As it moves through space, it pulls in everything that comes too close, from stray cosmic dust to wayward stars and even other black holes. Yes, you heard that right. When two black holes come close enough, they can merge into a larger one in a cosmic dance of gravity that sends ripples through the very fabric of space and time. But how does a black hole eat? It's not like it has a mouth. Well, black holes have something called an event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. So when any matter or energy crosses this event horizon, it's game over. It gets sucked in, adding to the black hole's mass. And it's not just the mass they gain. As they consume, black holes also grow in size. The more they eat, the larger their event horizon becomes, allowing them to pull in even more matter and energy. It's a cosmic cycle of eat and grow. But don't think of black holes as mindless consumers. They play a crucial role in the cosmos. By pulling in matter and energy, they help regulate the growth of galaxies, and their immense gravity can even trigger the birth of new stars. So after their dramatic birth, black holes embark on a journey of constant growth and transformation. They are the universe's most voracious eaters, always hungry, never satisfied. Over billions of years, they continue to feast, growing in size and strength. But even black holes, these seemingly eternal cosmic entities, must face an end. Just when you think you've grasped the eternal nature of black holes, science drops another bombshell. Black holes can die. Yes, these cosmic behemoths that spend their lifetimes consuming everything in their path, even light itself, are not immortal. They can, in fact, die a slow, gradual death. This process is known as the evaporation of a black hole, a concept that was first proposed by renowned physicist Stephen Hawking, hence the term Hawking radiation. So, how does this happen? The explanation lies in the realm of quantum physics. In the vacuum of space, pairs of particles and antiparticles continuously pop into existence, only to annihilate each other, almost instantaneously. Now, should this happen near the event horizon of a black hole? One of these particles might fall in before they can annihilate each other. The other particle, having lost its partner, escapes into the universe as radiation. This process is known as Hawking radiation. Now, you might wonder, how does this lead to a black hole's death? Well, when a black hole emits Hawking radiation, it loses a tiny bit of its mass. Over an unimaginably long span of time, this loss of mass continues, causing the black hole to slowly shrink. This is the evaporation of the black hole. However, don't expect to witness this cosmic event anytime soon. The lifespan of a black hole, measured in terms of evaporation, is staggeringly long. We're talking about a time scale that far exceeds the current age of the universe. So while the death of a black hole is a certainty, it is one that takes place on a timeline that is almost impossible for us to comprehend. Just as they began in a cosmic spectacle, black holes end their life in an equally fascinating manner. The life of a black hole from birth to death is a journey of cosmic proportions. We ventured through the cosmic odyssey of these mysterious entities, starting with their dramatic birth. Born from the cataclysmic death of supermassive stars, black holes serve as a stark reminder of the tremendous forces at play in our universe. We've delved into their enigmatic anatomy, 
a realm where space and time as we know them cease to exist and where the laws of physics are pushed to their absolute limits. The life of a black hole is one of perpetual growth, constantly feeding on energy and matter, continuously twisting and warping the fabric of the cosmos around them. And finally, we've witnessed the ultimate fate of a black hole. Through the baffling process of Hawking radiation, they slowly dissipate, fading away until they are no more. A cosmic finale for these celestial titans. In the grand tapestry of the universe, black holes are a testament to the incredible phenomena that space holds.